Hey do you guys, welcome back to the game. Welcome to Nothing To Something, a season on FIFA 23 Ultimate Team where I try and see what team I'm able to create or achieve by the end of FIFA 23. I thought you could try and say it's kind of like a road to glory because I'm going to be now FIFA points, anything like that. I'm just going to see what team I'm able to achieve by the end of FIFA 23 because you just never, never know what we could get, guys. But yeah, guys, if you, uh, have been, if you haven't seen last episode, please check it on my channel. And also, if you are enjoying this series, please smash that like button. It means so, so, so much if you could, guys. If, uh, I really would appreciate it and also guys if you guys are doing a road to glory please leave a comment down below on how your road to glory is going I'd love to know how your road to glory is going but as you can see guys I did a little bit of um moments off camera I didn't know if you want to see any more moments gameplay I mean the animals probably the most like funniest of gameplays maybe you know what I mean so uh, I get some moments gameplay done and, it's, and I got 71 stars which I found out I could get 11 uh, rare player untradeable pack which I thought why not and as you can see out of that pack we pack Brozovic which I didn't think was too bad at all 86 or 80 Brozovic out of that pack which cost 65 stars which I didn't think was too bad at all I mean, we've got Kras uh, Auto, a Ramos, a Bellingham, a Smoykel I mean I, I, I didn't think it was too bad at all I mean, St Maxi Man I mean we've got some okay okay players and I mean there's worth some of them was worth more than 94 we've got about, well, at least probably about 30k worth of players so for a couple of um, games of moments I didn't think it was too bad really seeing that we've got like what 30,000 coins worth of players. I thought one too shabby at all. I mean, did the welcome pack because I only had a couple of stars left. Thought, why not do the moment? I mean, the welcome pack. I mean, you never know what you could get, guys. You never know what you could get. But yeah, guys, if you've been doing any moments, please have a comment in below on what your best pull out of the moment packs. If you've opened any moments packs, what's your what's your been your best pull so far, guys? But yeah, guys, I was looking for the SBCs and I didn't realise, and I found, I found, because I thought maybe it might be a decent SBC to do, but I thought, why not do it? I found an 85 plus semi final SBC where, you I mean, I think it was Morocco and Argentina, and you had France and Croatia, and I thought, I mean, why not give it a go? You never know who you could pack. I mean, I thought, I thought maybe, 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 because you never know, I've like, highly, highly doubt it, but you never, never know. Maybe we could get a messy card because. I might be able to upgrade my Messi, I mean, because obviously what was a, what was a, uh, a World Cup Messi card, one that, that was like a centre forward that can play a striker, and I thought maybe, 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 you never know, I mean, the chances are very, very, very slim, but I thought maybe, 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 we might be able to pack him, you just never, never, ever, ever know, so I thought let's, let's give his semi-finals nations upgrade pack. A go. I mean, you're going to get it 85 plus at least, so you can get at least 85 rated player. I thought, why not give it a go? You never know what you could get. You I mean, you've got to take a chance, haven't you? You've got to take a chance. So I thought, maybe, 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 you never know. We might get messy. We probably won't, but we might. So I thought, let's give it a go. And that's, 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 that's the first thing we're uh, trading now. I'll trade in that Carasso, we've got Scott, Asensio, Ramos, I'll trade in. I'll trade in that Inform that we've got a couple of episodes back. Brands are shading, Isco, Hiradeki, Smoykel, Cucurella. I thought, I mean, I don't think they're going to be players that I'll probably ever use or make into a team, unfortunately. So, we'll, we'll not, we'll, I mean, trade them in and maybe, maybe, maybe get a very good player in return. Because you just never know what you could get, guys. So, as you can see, there's the 85 plus semi finals there pack claimed, which we're going to open later on in the episode. Fingers crossed we can get a really, really, really good player. You just never, never know. But yeah, guys, we're going to jump into some Division Rivals gameplay again and see maybe, maybe, maybe what we can hear. Uh, Achieving division roles, the only wins we can get. But before that, as you can see, we've got a weak key reward pack to claim. And we're going to go for the third option again, where you get the coins. And I think what three packs? Yeah, you get six thousand coins and three packs. Because for me, I've done the tradable packs in end ones, and so far, I feel like I get better rewards out of option three than I do with option one. Because I don't think I get the actual six thousand coins at least back from option one sometimes. So I thought maybe option three for me so far has been the better option. Where I know you keep the players in order to tradable, you can but you can always put them to an SBC. So that's, that's a win. And plus, you get, like I say, you get 6,000 coins, which I don't think is too bad at all. As you can see, we're going to be a new division here in Season 3. We're going to be in Division 8. But yeah, guys, as you can see, I don't think Division 8 is too bad to be in a division to start again on Season 3, to be honest. I don't think that's too bad a division to start off, indeed. I don't think. I don't think. I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think. But yeah, guys, his team is going to be... What team has he got? He has got a Noya, a Kimpembe, a Upper Mancano, a Silva, a Mares, a Haaland, a Keane, a Di Maria, a Sanchez, a James. Not too bad team at all. Not too bad team at all. But as you can see, Messi's going through now. Messi, what can you do with the ball? Messi's going through. Messi's going through. Gets it through there. A lovely finish, as you can see. But as you can see, guys... You can say, guys, we go one up in the ninth minute there. A lovely finish there into the bottom right hand corner, left hand corner, sorry. The kite there. Very good finish indeed. But as you can see, he's breaking through now, he's breaking through. Moyes Keane, the former Everton man, the former man back at Juventus, can put it away. Lucky for us, guys, lucky for us, he puts it over the bar. 
I was very surprised he put out the ball. I thought he was going to score there, but Messi's throw. Messi, can Messi put it away? Messi, oh, I thought Messi scored there. I thought we scored there with Messi, but we put it wide somewhere. Somewhere we put it wide. But as you can see, he goes where six shots to his one. 57% of the ball to his 43. I mean, we're not very nice stats. Like, another, another good faith player. No, he only had one shot. So like, the stats down say he's a good faith player. But I don't think he was a very good faith player. But as you can see, he's very now. Haaland's in. Haaland, Haaland. Great save there from the keeper. But somewhere, for some reason, the defender decides to like, auto-tackle him and tell him not to do anything. And find picks with the yellow card there. But he gives away a penalty. And I don't know how because it was like the defender just automatically tackled. I did not press a button. I did not press anything. And he just tackled his player, tackled his Haaland. But as you can see, he's got a penalty. Can he put it away? He does. He's Mares makes it. 1-1 one, one there. A lovely finish there for Morris on the penalty spot. Oh dear me, guys. But I mean, I couldn't get my head around how that penalty got given. Because obviously, like, well, I don't say how he got given, but I can't one more player jumped in and tackled him. Because I did not tell him to do it. So I was just so, so surprised. So I said we could bring Anthony on there. We got Savio for Cody. And I think we should also bring on Corona for Kite. I believe. Uh, I know, sorry, for Kamara. <laughs> but as you can see, Messi's in here, Messi. And you've got the man off the bench. Can Corona get through? Corona's getting through. Corona, Corona, Corona. Can he score? Can he score? Yes, he can. He pushes this into the top. Right hand corner. Net. What a strike that was. What a lovely, lovely strike that was. To make it 2 1. Fantastic strike there in the 72nd minute. To make it 2 1. And then I was very surprised. Because for some reason, some reason, guys, he decides to rage quit. Which I don't really understand why. Because I, I, mean, I think he could definitely go back into the game. I mean, he had a couple of chances. He got that penalty where I mean, he, made, he made it 1 1. So I think he could have got into the, I mean, he could have got definitely go back into the game. He had a very fantastic, fantastic team. So I think his team was more than good enough to score him goals. So I'm very, very surprised that he, he rage quit like two to three minutes after we scored that goal with Corona. I just couldn't, I just could not really, really understand why he, uh, why he rage quit in perfect goodness. I just don't know why. But as you can see, we had 10 shots to his three. Same amount of possession. Like I say, he was a very good faith player. Again, I think he was a good faith player. But been a fantastic win for us. We've got our first win of the episode, which is fantastic. We're going to jump into another division rivals game, so we're going to see the next team, see what team he's got. But I say a lovely win there. We're going to start going back up now, trying to get into division seven. You have now if we can. But you go next team goes. Who has he got? He has got a Pope, a Kudabali, Wambi Saka, Saka, Dan James. Oh my days! Mitchell Vich, look at that Dan James card. That that looks scary. That Dan, that Dan James card was 98 pace. Oh dear me, that's not going to be good. But Cody's through. A lovely finish there from Cody. We're Wiggling his way through, past his defenders on the left hand side and put it into the bottom right hand corner of the net. A lovely finish there in the 29th minute from Cody. There we go, back for again, tag the Fico, gets it to Kois, gets it to Messi. What can Messi do? Messi's on the ball, Messi, Messi, tag the Fico, tag the Fico. Oh my days, tag the Fico scores, my left back scores. He puts it into the bottom left hand corner, we make it 2 0 in the 40th minute. A lovely finish there from my left back, tag the Fico, the former Ajax man. Fantastic finish there, but he's the half time stats. As you can see, he's had four shots to our five. We had a lot more possession, but I think he was, he was, he was a very good faith player. A lot of his shots went straight to the keeper at the moment, but I mean, he was definitely trying to get back into the game. He was definitely creating chances. But as you can see, we're back for a guys. But Higuain, what can Higuain do? Higuain makes it 3 0. Lovely stroke there from Higuain. Puts it into the side netting. Fantastic finish. <laughs> Fantastic finish there from Higuain. But here we go, he's through again now. Gomez to Saka. What can Saka do? Can Saka get a goal back? He does. Saka makes it. Gets him a goal back. Makes it 3-1 now. But say, as you can see, Saka got a goal back there for him. A lovely finish. But go, Messi's in there. Messi to Cody. Bicycle kick there from Cody. Lovely play there. Messi with the cross. Cody with the bicycle kick. Make it 4-1 in the 57th minute of the match. A fantastic finish there. Put it in bottom right-hand corner of the net. Where we go, he's through again now. Dan James. Dan James running away with the pace he's got. Can he put it away? Oh, fantastic save there from the keeper. Where we go, Higuain's through now. I know he loses the ball. Go on, Higuain. Can he get the ball back? Can he get the ball back? And we can't. Kamara's got the ball now. He intercepts it. Can he get it through? He gets it through. He gets it back to Higuain. Higuain makes it too. He gets a double there. Fantastic finish there from Higuain. And as you can see, he rage quit at 5-1. I mean, I felt a bit sorry for him because I do think he, got, I mean, he had chances to get back into the match. As you can see, he had a chance with Dan James. I mean, unfortunately, he wasn't able to take his chances, unfortunately. Because I do think he was a very, very good thief player. But luckily for us, we won 5-1. Scored a lot of goals. We're very happy with him. He scored a bicycle kick. Higuain got two goals. Cody got two goals. Messi two assists, Cameron assist, Traore assist, Taglafico a goal. We scored some very, very nice goals in that match, I can't even complain. And another win, guys, which I'm really, really happy about. Another fantastic win there. Five of one, like I say. We had nine shots to his seven, so I mean, very close match, realistic in like shot department, boys. We had 62% of the ball to his 38. I mean, we have a lot more passes, to be fair. 
But I mean, like I say, I do think he's a very good faith player, I mean, very solid faith player, I must admit. But luckily for us, we was able to get the win and win 5 1, which is fantastic, like I say. And hopefully enough, we can uh, get another win in Division M. Um, Rivals in the next game, you just never, never know, guys. You never know if we'll be able to get another win, but hopefully we can. Hopefully we can. Here we go, next team. What do we he got? He has got a, a Pope again. He's got a Trippier, a Lozano, a Nkunku, a Brolin, a Leao. Oh my days, he's got a good team here. He's got a good team. Here we go. Cody's for again. Cody to Messi. Can Messi put it away? Messi with the Travella. Makes it 1 0 for us in the fifth minute. Fantastic finish there for Messi. Oh my days, guys. What a finish that was for Messi there with it on the Travella. Put it into put it into the right hand side of the net. Fantastic finish there for Messi for us. But Higuain's thrown now. What can Higuain do with the ball? Get it back to Kite. Kite's on the ball now. Here we go. Get it back to Messi. Back to Higuain. Higuain gets another goal for us, guys, in the 42nd minute. Fantastic play there. A fantastic goal from Higuain in the 42nd, 43rd minute of the match. There we go, guys. We're making it 2-0 before half-time, which is fantastic, which I'm really happy about. Here you go. You've got the ball here. There we go. Higuain back on the back on it again there. What can Higuain do? Higuain run with the ball. Get it to Messi. Messi's through. Can Messi put it away? Great save there from the keeper. But Cowdy on the rebound. Cowdy's there on the rebound to pounce and makes it 3-0 now in the 44th minute, I mean, pretty much 45th minute of the match. Fantastic play there. We've got, I mean, we did a bit lucky, I mean, because the keeper did make a fantastic save, palmed it out, but Cowley's there waiting to uh, take the chance and makes it 3 0 for us there, as you can see. And if, I mean, he raised quit, was a very surprised, but like I say, I do think he could definitely go back up in the matchup, but fantastic for us. I mean, we won 3 0 before half time, which is a fantastic result for us. Cowley got a goal and assist, Higuain got a goal, Messi got a goal and assist, which is fantastic. We've been scoring a lot of goals, which is fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Fantastic. I cannot complain one bit, guys. But you can see, can he get some more coins, which is fantastic. Whereas you can see, we had 10 shots to his 5, 54% possession ball to 46, which is not too shabby at all. And like another win for us in Division Rivals, which is going to be great, great, great. I mean, we could be in Division 7 in now time, you just never know, guys. You just never, never know if we could be in Division 7 in now time, which would be fantastic. But yeah, guys, I believe that is the last Division Rivals game we play of the episode. But as you can see, we're going to get a match victory there, like I say. Good go reach checkpoint, which is very nice. Got three wins out of three, so we're definitely going to get some packs at least, which is quite nice. We're going to go for the objectives now, get a couple of packs, I believe. Going to get some season progress done, which is very nice indeed. Get a kit there, which is not too bad at all. Get some TFOs and banners, which is always quite nice to see. As you can see, some more banners there and TFOs. I mean, a lot of TFOs and banners, as you can see, there's a lot, a lot, a lot. Another kit, which is fantastic. Got another stadium theme, which is very nice indeed. Got a Mexico World Cup player pack there, which is quite nice indeed for scoring with uh, Corona, which I'll very happily tick. As you can see, we get some more packs here. Got a silver pack, a bronze pack, some more TFOs and banners. Another uh, two gold rare player pack there, which is very nice indeed. Another pack. Going to get some more stuff here, as you can see, some chemistry styles, which I'll very happily, happily, happily tick. Can't complain a bit. We've got a couple of coins, which is very nice indeed. You've got a coin boost, which is very nice indeed. I picked the position modifier because you I mean they're always coming really coming in handy when you're making different teams. We've got another T foul. As you can see, we've got T fouls for days. I mean, I've ever needed to state I mean T fouls from the stadium. I've got T fouls, T fouls, T fouls for days. Basically, we've got 13 packs to open. So hopefully, 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 we've got a good pack, guys. I mean, there's a bronze pack. I mean, we're gonna get probably something too crazy in the bronze pack anymore, unfortunately. Unlike other FIFAs where like you can actually get a bronze pack was all worth like a lot of lot of money. Okay, we've got a 72 rated silver card there, not too bad at all. Not too shabby whatsoever, not too shabby at all, I don't think. Next pack, guys, we've got the Mexico pack. We're going to pack uh, a Raul Jimenez there, the Wolves man. Not too shabby at all, we've got a Herrera. We've got some nice players there, I, mean, so I don't think we're ever going to use the World Cup player items, unfortunately. But we've got some good players we've ever needed to use, them, which is fantastic. Next pack, guys, we're going to pack, we've got Poet. 82 rated, not too shabby at all, not too shabby. Got Yerry Mina there, the Everton man, former Barcelona man, not too shabby at all. Here we go, next pack, guys, we've got a Jumbo Gold 26 pack. We're going to get a Copper Libertadores player there, not too bad at all. We've got so a lot, a lot of players there, which we can hopefully put into SBCs, which would be fantastic. I mean, we're going to get some use out of them. We can put them into lots, maybe some marquee matchups or anything like that, or maybe like uh, maybe double player picks, which would be very nice indeed. We've got a Crystal Palace defender there, not too shabby. We've got Chris Small in the former United man, not too shabby at all, 81 rated. Here we go, we've got some two player rare player packs there. We're going to do the gold booster pack next. Who are we going to get, guys? Who are we going to get? Centre back, Teze. I mean, I was just thinking we've made a couple of teams with Teze, so he's always a, he's always a good uh, player to keep. 
I mean, unfortunately, we had him as a duplicate, but I mean, he, ain't, he isn't a bad player at all in this game. I don't think I've used him a couple of times. I actually think he's a really, really good player for him, which it costs. I think he's still got 700 coins this year for that much. He's like a really, really good bargain player. As you go next back, Luis Vazquez there, 81 rated Real Madrid right back. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Next pack, guys, we're going to pack a road. Look at that, team of the tournament, World Cup player, we've got Doan there, 85 rated, team of the tournament card, in a two pack, fantastic, I could not even believe that pack that guy is, 85 rated Doan, very very nice indeed, what a pick up that is, I mean in a, two, in a rare two player pick, pack, that is fantastic guys, there we go, we've got a road to the final player there, which I'm really really happy about, I could not believe we even packed one guys, which I'm amazed, I mean guys, if you've packed any of them players, please have a comment down below, your best I mean, if you've packed a world to the uh, Road Cup card, please leave a comment down below on who your best uh, pickup was in a pack. I'd love to know, guys. Which can say next one, we're going to get some more World Cup items here, which I mean we could happily, happily take, add to the club, try and get some more checkpoints done in the uh, Road Cup, uh, World Cup mode, which hopefully we may never know we might be able to. I mean, we've got quarterfinals nation pack. Is that what we're going to open next, or we're going to open mega pack? Oh, guys, we're going to open the mega pack. Let's see what we're going to get. We get. Aye, Jesus Navas, the former Man City man, they're playing for Sevilla, not too shabby at all. We've got Isco there, who we put into an SBC, so we'll have to take back and we can put him into an other SBC Ajax kit there, which is worth anything. Maybe, 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 you never know, guys, you never know, but we've got some more World Cup player items here. Anything I wish, I wish I wish I could speed up a little because, I mean, they take a lot of time to open up all these World Cup player items, unfortunately. Look, I'm happy to have them, but I do take a long time to uh, open up. I must admit, I do take a long time to open up. But yeah, guys, here we go. Next pack, we've got a quarterfinals nation pack, which who knows what we could get. We could get like a Netherlands, Argentina, Croatian, Brazil, English, French, Moroccan player. I mean, there's so many chops to choose from. You could pick out these packs. As you can see, we get 83 rated Roberto Firmino from Liverpool there, and not too shabby pack at all. We've got Ziyech there, the Chelsea man, former Ajax man. Not too bad at all, not too bad at all. I'll happily, happily take. And here we go, guys, the big pack of the episode the semi finals nation player pick pack. 85 rated at least. Who are we going to get, guys? Who are we going to get? We get... We get the Moroccan goalkeeper from Sevilla. Not too shabby at all. 86 rated. I'll happily take that. I mean, I know there's probably some better players that you could probably get out of this pack. But I'd, I can't complain. I cannot complain one bit. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I'll ever put him into a team, unfortunately. Maybe, maybe, maybe I might be able to. I don't know if I'll be able to. But hopefully, maybe we might be able to put him into a team. I just never, never know. But as you can see, Cowley scored eight goals there in 20 matches with three assists, which I don't think is too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Higuain's got 21 goals, nine assists in 27 games, which I think is a fantastic record there. Fantastic record indeed, in my opinion. Not too shabby at all. Messi has got three goals, seven assists in eight games. As you can see, we get a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot of assists from that right wing there, which is fantastic to see. At least he's chipping, chipping, helping the team, getting a lot of assists. We've got a goal, two assists there for Dirk Kite, not too bad at all. Camera there has got two assists, which I'm very happy with. I mean, I think for 650 coins, he's been a really, really good player for me. I must admit, he's been a really good player in that uh, centre mid position. One assist there for Traore, a goal there for Taglafico. Very nice indeed. I was very surprised he got a goal for us. I mean, I didn't think it would be that fault the pitch, but I'm really happy he got a goal for us. Dan Sal, I mean, no goals, no assists yet, but I reckon he will do. No assists or goals for Akimi, but I reckon, I mean, I reckon they all will chip in very, very soon, in my opinion. I do think that they will chip in very, very soon against more goals and assists. But yeah, guys. This has been this episode of Nothing to Suffer, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please smash the like button. Also, subscribe if you know. Turn the bell to missing videos like this on my channel. Also, if any place you'd like to see me by, please leave a comment down below, and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next video, guys. Bye, guys.